I need to sit right here and not move because you can see my cushion in the fireplace. I put that there so Nelly doesn't explore the fire. But I think you can get these like balloon things that go up a fireplace now to stop pets going up them. I need to look into that because that is not the one. I've paused my all too well jam session to start filming this video so you are very welcome. <laughs> okay, hello guys. As you can see from the title of this video, this is going to be my bedroom makeover and I'm so chuffed with how my bedroom turned out. Honestly, it feels like such a relaxing place. It did come with a bit of an error though. You will see in this video we had to change the paint colour because it was wrong but I'm really happy with the colour it is. I think it looks gorgeous. Anyways, before we jump into this video I just want to say a humongous thank you. Is that even a word? <laughs> I want to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor which is Casetify. I've spoken about Casetify a few times. I absolutely love them as a brand but if you guys don't know who they are, Casetify offer incredible phone cases that are drop proof protected which is perfect for people like me who drop their phone honestly. I would have to say at least four times a week. It is getting a bit out of hand but luckily for me Casetify have engineered slim bumpers on the side of phones that look like this. You can see it right here super slim and they make the cases up to 6.6 .6 feet drop proof for the impact cases and up to 9.8 feet drop proof for the ultra impact cases which is incredible okay we have transferred to the phone i'm going to do another drop test on my phone to prove to you how incredible case by cases are so as you can see my phone case doesn't have any cracks or anything on it we're going to head to the stairs these are my stairs just in case you care and i'm just going to drop my phone down them three two one Oh my gosh, that was the biggest drop I've ever done. It like bounced off every wall. <laughs> but my phone is still perfectly fine. There you go, perfect. Not only are the cases drop proof, but Casetify have a huge variety of different designs. I've got a few to show you. But before I show you the phone case designs that I've got this month, I wanted to talk to you about a new product. If you guys are on the internet, which you obviously are, you will know that the Y2K trend has been huge over the past few months. And the return of the beaded phone strap has been massive. I've seen it all over TikTok. But Casetify now offer their own beaded foam straps these are incredible and i've got the matte rainbow one it's so pretty and it goes so well with this phone case this is one of their holographic phone cases it looks so cool together these are going to be a game changer for me because now i can put it over my wrist when i hold my phone and if i do happen to drop my phone it will catch it but if not i know that the case five cases have got drop proof protection so i don't have to worry they're made on a water resistant cord as well for added durability so they're going to last you a long time so i've also got this other beaded strap which is so pretty it's got different kinds of beads on like little hearts and flowers this one is very 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 y2k in case if i've actually sent me a couple of phone cases that go perfectly with the straps so i would pair these two together they would be so pretty and then if i didn't have my holographic one on i would pair this gorgeous flower case here with the matte strap that looks gorgeous Casetify are offering you guys 15% off of your orders. So go to casetify.com forward slash Gabriella Lindley. I will leave it as the first link in the down bar and go and claim your 15% off. Thank you so much to Casetify for sponsoring today's video. And let's jump into the room makeover. Ooh. Today is the start of my bedroom makeover. So I'm gonna show you it in detail before. Okay, this is the problem area. I have lost some of the paper. And this happened when I had my wardrobes done because I had a big wardrobe bit that went all the way over my door and I got rid of it. And in that process, I lost the paper. So this bedroom has been in need of a makeover for a long time because that was a long time ago now. So basically he's gonna repaper and then paint the walls and I'll show you the paint in a second. But my plan for this room is to basically have it all the same color. It's an off-white with a slight, slight, slight pink tone. So it'll be a lot lighter than this. But basically with the white paint, I hate that you can't see the picture rail like to me it doesn't look finished but this is the before of the room and this is the paint that I'm going with so I was very kindly gifted these by Lick Paint so it's called White 06 and it is basically a white with a very very slight pink undertone I'm very excited to see it then I've got White 01 in the eggshell to do the skirting boards and the railings and everything Ooh. 
here to do a little update for you. So basically, it's one of my neighbours who's doing it. He's so nice. So he's just going to pop in in between jobs. I think he said it was going to take about a week. So today, he's just filled all of the holes and stuck the paper back down. Let me show you. It's always so difficult to show this stuff on camera. But if you can see, like, he's filled this, filled all of the holes. And all over here as well, all of the cracks in the wall, he's filled them and he's rubbed all the walls down to get prepared. And yeah, he's going to come tomorrow and do some more so I'll update you then. Ooh. Day two. So John has just been and he's filled all of the cracks and the holes. So all of the paper over there was kind of coming off and that's all been filled and stuck down. As you can see on the skirting board, he's filled loads of holes on there as well because that's getting painted. And the fireplace as well. Well, I'm so excited for it to be done. But he's left for a bit while this dries. And then the next step is to sand it all, I guess, and get it all prepped. Um, excuse me, Nelly. I know, it's all strange, huh? Yoink. Come on, out of the room. There we go. It looks like he's also doing the door, which I didn't realise, but yeah, grateful for that. Right, come on, Bobbins. Cats are so inquisitive. Go on, out there, good boy. Ooh. Oh, wow. Good morning, everybody. It is half past seven on Thursday, and I actually have an electrician coming today. Actually, I'll do an update on what John did first. So he's basically prepped this entire wall now, as you can see. It's nice and smooth, and he's prepped that wall as well. That one's nice and smooth, and he's painted the ceiling, so that looks super duper fresh. He's prepped all the skirting boards and the door, and yeah, the room is officially being painted today. Obviously the ceiling has already been done, but the color starts and then maybe on Friday he'll do like the door and the skirting and the railing and stuff. But as of right now, this light fixture is getting changed. I'm really excited about it because I do not like this light fixture. No offense if you've got it, I bet probably half of you have got it. We've had a bit of a mishap with the paint. I feel like they've put the wrong label on the paint tin, but it should not be this color. I'll put on screen the color it's supposed to be. So yeah, I'm trying to step away from pink, so I didn't want to use it. So I've just rushed out and I've got some different paint and I've put literally two seconds of research into it. So hopefully it turns out all right. After my paint nightmare, I ended up getting the shade Just Walnut. I think from Dulux and thankfully I really like the way it's looking. I'm gonna take you in and show you at the minute. It's a lot darker than what I expected to get. There was a shade at Dulux that I really liked the look of but their paint shaky service wasn't working and they had no tins of it. So I literally just grabbed the walnut shade and hoped for the best. But I do really like it. I think it's still gonna fit the vibe really well. It's just gonna be darker than what I thought. Literally, how different was that from what it was meant to be? I cannot get over it. I really do think that they just packaged the wrong color because I got a swatch of the color it was supposed to be and it was absolutely gorgeous so i just think that was a little bit of a mishap but i have let them know anyways this is the walnut shade i do actually really like it which i'm very grateful about the top color's still got to dry a bit before you can go over it but i do think it's gonna look lovely look how fab the light looks it looks so pretty and also he's finished doing i think two coats of paint on the walls and it looks great it's exactly what i wanted just like a pink toned neutral if that makes sense and the light Light looks lovely, so I am chuffed. He's got to do another coat of paint tomorrow and ignore how patchy it is, it's still drying. And then he's got to paint the skirting board, I think, and then we're pretty much done. Ooh. Update of the day. I think all of the coats have been done on the walls now, so they're pretty much done. They're just drying. And I have to say, I love this paint color. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, if you see from this angle, oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. It's got a really, really subtle pink to it. It's probably the perfect pink shade for me. He's done such an incredible job. My room has just been finished painted. Oh, I'm so chuffed with it. He helped me hang that mirror up as well because that wall is really dodgy. How lovely does this look? I'm just gonna start bringing my furniture back in. I think I'll do that and then tomorrow I will add the finishing touches and stuff and show you. But yeah, I'm gonna bring all the furniture back in and my TV. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay guys, I've officially finished making over my bedroom and it looks so nice. I'm so excited to show you and hear your opinions in the comments. I would love to know what you think. Please don't be too mean if you don't like it because I love it. So walking in, this is what you see. I'll just do a quick little overview and then we will get into where everything is from. So from this side of the room, this is what it's looking like and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you where every single thing is from in this room and I will leave it linked below if you guys are interested. Oh, we can't forget the new light, so pretty. Let's start over here. So I've got this big round mirror. This was from Habitat, absolutely love this. I've got a few of them in my flat, actually. I think I've got three because they're just so nice and timeless and go with everything. But I've got a little radiator cover. This radiator is so weirdly placed. Like ideally I wish that wasn't there so that I could use this space properly but hey ho. I've just got a little plant on here and a picture of me and my granddad when I was a baby. So cute. And then I've got a ginger scent diffuser and a fake plant. This fake plant was from Ikea and this pot here bringing some yellow into the room and this was from Burt's. This plant stand was from Matalan and I've just got a little plant in there and this wall colour is absolutely gorgeous. Goes so well with the brass accents like my door handle and lights which it looks so nice. Please ignore my dead plant. But I do want to say that this paint colour did end up a lot more pink than I expected. I will put a picture of my mood board on the screen right now. You can see it was definitely more creamy, which is why I've got like a lot of yellow accents, but I do think it works. Okay, so moving around, I've got this chair. This was from a shop called Perch and Paro and a little cushion from HomeSense. My rug, I get so many questions about this rug. This is from Ikea. It's super affordable. And then let's Let's move to the bed now. So this is the bit that I'm unsure about. Because the walls are slightly more pink than they would have been with the other paint, I was wondering if the mustard actually went with it anymore. I've tried to bring a little bit more pink than I would have if the walls weren't this colour. And I think it does work, but I did buy all of the stuff for this room, obviously before the makeover and before the paint was different. And I bought them ages ago, so it was too late to return them. So I ju I've just made them work and I think it does work. So anyways, this blanket is from Oliver Bonus. It's gorgeous. It's so like heavy feeling and it's double sided. So on the other side, it's red and white. But I love this mustard shade. It's so so pretty and then my bedding I wish I had a steamer I really want like a steam machine so I can make my bedding really smooth but let's just ignore that for now this bedding was from Marks and Spencers it's absolutely gorgeous it's like a mushroomy color and it's just got these burnt orange little stars and stuff on it is so pretty so moving up to my actual bed this is a different bed than I used to have this one was from Habitat then I've brought in these bigger pillow cushions as I said I wouldn't have had the pink I don't think if this wall colour wasn't pink but hey ho. So these were from H&M. These big white cushions were from Matalan and then we've got another home sense cushion there. Onto my bedside table I got this little clock from Amazon and it's so cool. It's really lovely. So I'll link that below. But my bedside tables were actually from Urban Outfitters. They've got such a big drawer. I've tried to hide my cables under there. They do have quite a lot of cables. I might get one of those like cable things that I've got for my TV that like attaches them to the wall so you can't see them. But yeah, for now, it's just in a little basket. And then my bedside lights were from H&M. I really love these. I know a lot of people don't like the black wire hanging down, but I don't mind it. I feel like it looks okay. Like it doesn't bother me at all, but these are so cute and the round shape is echoed in the new light. Up there, I feel like they go really nicely together. So this light was from, do, 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 do. Can't remember, but I will link it below. Above my bed, I've got this lovely Habitat print. I've wanted this print for so long and I've finally got it. I do think this print looks better in a black frame, but I don't think a black frame would have looked right in this room. So it's currently in this oak frame. We may as well move over to my fireplace. These prints were from a shop called Juni. They were very kindly gifted. I did some work with them on Instagram and they are so pretty. So we've got like a little solar system astrology-ish one. I don't know how you explain that. And then we've just got this Paul Klee one, which again brings a little bit of the yellow into the room. How pretty are these fireplace tiles? I love them. I feel like they're so pretty. Here we've just got another bedside table from Urban Outfitters. I've just got a little candle going at the minute and then obviously another little lamp. Oh, it looks so pretty. I love my room so much much now and I do actually really like the mustard that's my final opinion on it so moving around to this side I've got this drawer unit this was from John Lewis it is absolutely 
absolutely gorgeous but it is so so heavy such a gorgeous set though and i'm really excited to have this in years to come i feel like my kind of vibe is like the mid-century this is just a really gorgeous piece so i'm very happy i got that i've got this little mushroom lamp on top this was from oliver bonus it's so cute and obviously my nail polish is here i don't really have anywhere else for it and i feel like it looks fine so the little stand was from amazon and then in this corner we've just got one of my little chinese money plants this is one of the babies that i propagated if you guys saw that video where i propagated like tiny little babies this is one of them i've got like six of them and they are all going insane and now they're growing babies as well i don't know what to do i might just open like a plant shop but above that we've just got my tv this is a samsung smart tv i love it so much can just watch netflix and stuff on there from bed i glazed over this little section so this mirror was from made.com i did think it was going to be a bit longer but that was my fault for not measuring it <laughs> i feel like it would look nice if it was just like a bit longer but hey ho and then we've just got obviously a big plant so the only thing that i haven't spoken about are my wardrobes i will insert a picture here of what the wardrobes looked like when i first moved in they were above the door and down here and it was just so invasive on the room and i'm really happy that i had these done i had them done about probably over a year ago now but i'm really happy with those i've got these little brass knobs on them which just ties together all of the brass hardware so that is my room i'm definitely going to get some of them wire covers for there so i can take that basket out i'd love to know your opinion in the comments i'm super happy with it it feels like a really nice grown-up room now i love my light i love how it ties together with the other little circle lights and the circle mirror but yeah there we go last little overview so that is the end of this video i really hope you like my bedroom i love it so much like the more i come in here the more i'm like <gasps> It actually feels like a proper grown-up bedroom to me now. Anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I'm super active over there and TikTok as well. I will leave both handles on screen here. I'm going to head off now and I will see you very soon. Bye!